Hi everyone, Rob Howitt from RJH Motorbike Training. Um, short video regarding bus lanes. Um, we get trainees come to us for the full licenses, road users come to us, and as soon as we start talking about bus lanes, um, generally, can I use them, can I use them? So hopefully this short video will, will clear that up for you and um, certainly help you on your module to test. So first of all, how do you know if it is a bus lane? So bus lanes um, on approach, you have a blue sign and also you can have um, the, yeah, the solid white lines um, and also the words bus lane written on, on them when you are there. Um, so bus lanes are clearly marked by dashed white lines or solid white lines. Uh, the solid white lines mark out the edge of the bus lane and should not be crossed whilst it is in operation. The dash white lines signify beginning and the end, um, which are the points where you're you're able to um, enter exit them. Um, so that is how you can identify a bus lane. Um, when can you use a bus lane? So you can use um, a bus lane outside of its operational hours and um, providing it is safe to do so and the benefit of this is that it is going to ease traffic congestion and enable you to make a bit of progress in the sort of um, the town centres which they generally tend to be um, so you, that's when you can use them be aware that on your module 2 test if you don't use a bus lane when it is safe to do so then you will get marked down okay so the um, the blue uh, blue sign the bus lane sign will show you um, times of operation and what vehicles are permitted to use it so when you when can't you use a bus lane um, so you need to be aware of the blue sign on approach with which will signal to you the times of operation. So as an example, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., those are the times of operation. So you must not go into the bus lane um, during the times of operation. And uh, the only times that you would, would need to consider going into a bus lane during its times of operation is in an emergency or if there was an obstruction. Um, so other than that, no, don't go into the bus lines, the bus lanes. Now there are penalties for going into a bus lane and um, a lot of bus lanes have uh, mobile CCTV cameras which, um, which can pick you up um, and you know, you, you can get a, a, a fine and the amount that you need to pay will vary from different counties. Um, so, you know, be aware that if you are caught going into them, then then you will get fined. What I have are a few short videos of um, of using a bus lane and a bit of commentary um, on on the way as well. So, have a little look through. And um, if you uh, have any questions, uh, you can let me know. As far as the North West goes, Manchester City Centre um, doesn't have any, any sort of motorcycles in the um, authorised vehicle that you can use at any time, bus lane. Um, other counties are, I know Cardiff, I think, um, Bedfordshire. Um, you know, motorcycles are up there with taxis and buses being able to use the bus lanes continuously. But, um, you know, do check with your instructor. Do check with your um, training school. They will be able to advise you regarding bus lanes, um, you know, on your, on your test, uh, usage of the bus lanes on your test. So our first bus lane is coming up now on the left. Uh, you'll be able to see the sign which says bus lane suspended which means that a motorised vehicle such as us on a motorbike can use it, a car could use it, it is a suspended bus lane so if you're on your module 2 test and you see that 
man, use it. Not a problem. Thing to anticipate are cars coming out of the junctions and indeed cars changing lanes, overtaking you, possibly turning left. make a bit of progress in the bus lanes. approaching a bus lane which has no times of operation. It's got buses, cyclists and taxis can use it, but the bus lane has no times of operation which means you must not go into the bus lane. So on your module 2 test do not go into the bus lane unless it was an emergency. So we have um, another option of a bus lane coming up. So blue sign, read it. This particular one will be Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., which means outside of those times you can use it. Now, as today is a Sunday, you can see on there, Monday to Friday, 7, 10, 4, 7, no motorcycle. It's taxi, bus, and cyclist. So we're going to use it, but as we said, you need to anticipate that cars coming out from junctions on the on the left will uh, can come into the bus lane and also any vehicles that are overtaking me. So if we look ahead at all the vehicles that are not using the bus lane, is that poor knowledge of the highway code? Um, because progress could be made. So a lot of anticipation, that's, that's the key, anticipate. Now if the time was within the times of operation, we wouldn't be using it. You get pedestrians standing in it and all sorts. So knowledge of the, the bus lane, recognising the times of operation and recognising the vehicles that are able to use it within the times of operation. There are some counties now that motorcyclists are, yet, are allowed to use it. I think Cardiff is one. I think Sheffield have started doing it. Manchester is a county. Up to now I don't know of any, any bus lanes that motorcyclists can use at any time. Although one would... Uh, think to encourage two wheels the bus lanes would be opened up for that purpose okay so again in the distance I can see a bus lane coming up the one approach we'll look at the sign the blue sign and we'll read it to understand it uh, this particular bus lane again will be Monday to Friday 7 till 10 4 till 7 outside of the times of operation if you're on your module 2 test outside of those times use it I'm gonna enter it as soon as it's safe to do so say the general understanding of bus lanes most uh, won't use it when they can
had just about most of the bus lanes certainly uh, that I come across in Manchester but do speak to your instructor um, at the, the area that you are going to be doing your test they can help you out um, but always encourage you to use the bus lanes when you're allowed to if you don't use the bus lane when you're allowed to you could be picking up faults um, which could uh, result in a fail I've had people fail their module 2 tests for not using the bus lanes encouraging vehicles to undertake them or indeed entering a bus lane when they shouldn't be in the bus lane so do get to uh, get understanding them so uh, hope you like the video and uh, any questions fire away uh, very important like share and uh, subscribe please subscribe it does make a difference so catch you later bye